It is, what day is it so? Thursday, is it? No, it's Friday today. Um, did you get sick? At least got the hiccups, excuse me. Um, it is five past nine, so it's quite early. I've been up since about eight. Um, just trying to find the remote so I can turn this down. Okay, so I have to go to the co-op. I'm hoping to leave in the next, say, half an hour, 45 minutes, um, because we've run out of formula for her. Well, we've got at least another three more feeds, but um, Ellie is staying with Paul's mum's tonight, which I am going to miss her like absolute crazy, but it was my birthday on Wednesday, and thank you everyone that left me really nice birthday wishes and everything. Um, I had a lovely day, um, but Paul's taking me out tonight for like a birthday dinner or something, um, and he arranged for his mum to look after Ellie. So they've looked after her before; they're brilliant with her and everything. But I'm going to miss her, so she's going to pick her up at about half two. So I've got to make sure you know she's got plenty of formula and everything to go to her house. Um, and then when I come back, I've got to like pack her changing bag because she's staying the night and all that stuff so I've got some of it ready I'm trying to get myself ready as you can see I'm trying to do my makeup <laughs> um, here's Ellie she's got the hiccups hello oh. um, and I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup I'm just putting my powder on um, and then this is the stuff that she's taking now it might seem like a lot but I change her about five times a day no joke because she spits up so much and all that stuff so I've made sure she's got plenty of stuff um, and obviously she's taking the car seat and all that so yeah I've got to sort out bottles and all that um, I need to get a few things in the co-op but I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry it all because um, I had one of them shopping clips for the pram like the stroller but it's really like naff and it's just really bad quality so I took it off so I might just be able to just only get one bag so that's a bummer but I think me and Paul are going to do an actual weekly shop either tonight or tomorrow um, and talking to Paul he's he's got the worst luck in the world and um, his wages gets paid into my bank because he's had a lot of trouble with his bank before like it takes ages to go into there and blah 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 he's had a lot of trouble with it so they get paid direct, directly into my bank I don't know what that was um, and it was payday today like Friday end of the month and um, he transferred it into his account which is now up and running but it was the wrong details the wrong sort code and that so he needs to somehow get that money out of that account and to go into his proper account um, so yeah, I might be waiting for a phone call from his bank to like talk to me to confirm that I've done it and everything. So yeah, it's kind of like a bad morning for him. He's at work today. Um, he done it on his phone. That's why it kind of went a bit wrong. But yeah, I'm just getting ready. She's watching TV behind me, and I will check in with you soon. Okay, so this little one. <laughs> Can you see us? She was hungry again. Um, she's she's already had six ounces, um, literally about half an hour ago. But because she sleeps most of the night now, especially last night, she slept the whole night, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but obviously, because she's sleeping the whole night, she's missing out on a lot of feeds. So she's getting more hungry during the day, which is fine because. Um, I think that's why she's sleeping the whole way through. I might do a 
um, like update on her and like a nighttime routine. But I've noticed the more I feed her during the day, then the more she sleeps at night. So um, I've already gave her six ounces, like I said, about half an hour ago, and she'll probably only have another ounce um, to fill her up. But I don't mind. <coughs> What's wrong? Oh, what's wrong? Hmm? You had enough? You just wanted a couple of mouthfuls. Look at you smiling. You're naughty. You just made mummy make a bottle. Are you naughty? Yes, you are. She literally had a couple of mouthfuls and now she's done. <laughs> Monkey. She's really staring at the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna see if she wants a tiny bit more and then carry on getting ready. Aren't we? Aren't we? You naughty girl. <laughs> so I just noticed in that clip that I've done half of my makeup and it ha I haven't blended it into my neck yet because she was crying so before people leave me comments saying oh my god your face is orange compared to your body blah 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 it's actually the lighting it, I looked it back and it doesn't look that bad in real life but I do need to put some bronze around my neck obviously because I'm so pale now I don't know what what is wrong with me I'm just so pale lately but um, yeah I thought I'd address that because I didn't finish my makeup yet <laughs> But, um, yeah, we're going to finish our makeup off, aren't we? Yes. Okay, so I'm finally ready. I'm just popping to the shop. Um, so I've just threw my hair up into a mummy bun. And then I've got this really thick snood on because it's absolutely freezing. Like, I think it might snow because it's that cold. And the sky's looking really, really white. So I'm going to go before it snows. I don't think it will snow, but I've heard rumours that it will um, so yeah, I've got this on, which is going to keep me really warm. Look how pale I look. I'm not actually that pale in real life, I promise. <laughs> and then I got this top for, for my birthday. It's this really nice, like, blue colour. Can you see there? It's got, like, blue and black um, print. And then it's got a leather pocket thing there. Like, the, the trim is like a fake leather thing. And the same with the sleeves. Um, I know it don't go with what I'm wearing, this um, snood. It'd probably be, be better wearing a black one. But I've only got a grey thick one, so that's what I'm going to wear. And then I just have on my um, skinny jeans from Topshop. They're like the indigo colour. Um, I've also got a top on underneath this top as well. And then my black boots. Um, and I might wear a little black cardigan because my arms are going to be cold. I'm wearing this coat here, which is my favourite Parker one with the leather sleeves. Um, but my arms still get cold because this leather here doesn't keep my arms warm enough. So I might wear a little cardigan under it as well. Um, I'm not going to wear a hat, but I'm going to wear some gloves because pushing the pram, oh my god, your hands get so cold. Um, so yeah, she is... Being a good girl and sleeping at the moment and I'm going to get her in a snowsuit and put her in the pram. Okay, I'm going to head off now. I've got my gloves, um, my money and phone in one pocket. And I think, I don't know if I'm going to vlog because I'm not confident vlogging down the road yet. But um, I've put the rain cover in the shopping basket in case it does rain. But it does look quite dry out so fingers crossed doesn't snow or rain um, I've got my keys to lock up and the changing bag and the bottle she didn't finish I'm bringing out with me just in case she needs a bottle I doubt it because we're only like 15 minutes down the road so um, she should be alright well, put the changing bag on there um, but in case she needs it, I've bought it because she didn't finish the bottle. Um, and there she is, as fast asleep. She didn't wake up, which is not like her. Usually when I put a snowsuit on her, she screams. She hates it. Uh, but once she's in it, she's fine. 
so yeah that is us and we're gonna head out the door so I am back home now um, Ellie's in her car seat still I don't want to wake her up because it's not fair um, so I'm going to leave her in her car seat and I can get a few things done until she wakes up but it literally took me like 10 minutes not even that it's really quick because um, I haven't actually been out on my own with Ellie yet I've been to like my dad's and stuff but not like to shops and stuff so that was a success she slept the whole time um, and I would have been home a lot sooner but I was chatting to one of my neighbours for about half an hour so I was just like I want to get home and have a cup of tea um, but they just saw the baby and we were just talking and everything but um, this is all I got really because like I said I can't carry a lot because um, the shopping basket on my pram is absolutely rubbish um, so I need to invest in another shopping hook or something but all I got was another formula because hers ran out. Well, we've filled these up. There's two of these filled up with feeds already for today. Uh, but because she's going to Paul's mum's, I had to get another formula um, to make sure she's got enough food. And then I also got three of these because they're just ready-made cartons. And I think they're really handy to have in case we ever have a power cut. Because my mum, who lives, like, three minutes away driving, uh, she had a power cut the other week. And I thought to myself, oh, my God, if I ever have a power cut, I wouldn't be able to, like, make her bottles with a bottle machine or boil the kettle or anything like that. So I thought ready-made ones are really handy to have. I, I can always heat them up um, over the gas. So I just thought, you know, they're there, they're only like 40p, something like that. Sorry, just for emergencies or, you know, if we run out of formula one day or something like that. So I just got free and when we next go shopping, I think we're going to get a couple more. Um, but yeah, I thought might as well get them. Um, but we're doing a big shop, like I said, so I haven't got to get too much. Okay, so I have got to do so much. It is now quarter to, to 10. No, quarter to 11, sorry. Um, and Paul's mum is coming out about half two, so I have to make sure she's got plenty of bottles for tonight. I think I'm going to bring about seven, uh, maybe eight just in case. Uh, there's already these done, they are sterilised already and there's a few in there done as well but I need to sterilise a few more and um, I need to wash up, why is that in there, I just threw that in there by mistake I need to wash up and put that away uh, but before I do that I'm going to make myself a latte this is my new baby I got for my birthday and it's the Bosch Tassimo and I'm not sure what model it is but on the box it said Charmy so I'm guessing that's it um, I haven't used it but Paul has um, I thought it was quite difficult to use at first you have to do the whole like cleaning disc and all that kind of stuff and select your cup size um, Tilly get off the counter please she was staring at the fish a second ago um, so yeah, I don't know how to actually use it, so I might have to ring pull up. But um, yeah, we had one last night and we had the Costa Lattes and they're amazing. And with the machine, I got that from my mum by the way, so thank you mum for watching. With the machine it came with um, a couple, well quite a lot actually, of the tea discs for free. Um, and to be honest it was all kind of coffees that I've never heard of or like really strong coffees like espresso and stuff and I'm more of a latte cappuccino kind of girl but I do like the occasional coffee and um, so these are the ones that come free with it and I put them in these jars that were from the baby shower um, and I don't know if I'm going to leave them there but when we move um, 
hopefully our kitchen will be a lot bigger and I'm going to make a little like coffee station and I'm going to have all like different uh, pods and all that kind of stuff and I'm going to make it look really pretty with nice mugs and stuff but at the moment I just put them in these jars these are the Costa ones which I'm going to have now okay let's give this a go so I've put my milk pod in why isn't it working yes no yep there we go my first time making it you're probably all watching this going you're doing it wrong <laughs> so this is the milk putting in my actual Costa Latte one and it's filled up with milk I'm guessing you just press it again this is so confusing there we go This is hard. There we go. But surely you don't have to keep turning it off and on. So can someone let me know what I'm doing wrong, please? <laughs> but hopefully, it says on the disc, um, espresso shot for a latte and cappuccino. So I'm guessing it's just like a little shot. We'll see. actually very happy with that latte yeah this room's pretty much done ellie's still sleeping she's probably sweating in that um bathroom's pretty much done just have to hang that towel up um i've got to put the pram back in the boots hello hello <laughs> are you finally waking up yeah <laughs> Are you pooing? Are you doing the poo? No. Look how big you're getting. I can't believe it. <gasps> okay, so since I last spoke to you, um, I think it's about half twelve now. It's about to look at my watch, it's moving on. Um, <clears throat> it's about half twelve now. And I've done so much because... Ellie's been a little angel today. She's really sleepy. Um, not sure it's because she had quite a lot this morning, probably. Uh, that's the reason for it. But I've done the kitchen. Um, I'm just sterilising some bottles at the moment. Millie, can you get down, please? Thank you. Um, I'm just sterilising some bottles. Um, that's going to go with her today and then these are going to go as well these are already done um, I've washed up and this is her bag which her bottle machine goes into uh, we bring the bottle machine um, and then all I've done all her formulas into these pots ready so there's nine seeds and I've done two extra just for emergencies 
you never know what could happen. Um, so there's about 10 or 11 feeds there because we've done these little ones as well. Um, and then we've got three sterilised bottles at the moment in there but I'm bringing a total of seven. Um, and I'm also adding these sterilising tablets just in case um, me and Paul can't make it to hers until like late, later on or something. Um, we're planning on getting her in the morning but you never know, Paul might be at work and obviously I can't drive and stuff so um, yeah I'm just packing these tablets so in case she needs to sterilise some bottles. Um, and then the bottle machine and the rest of the bottles will go into this bag. Um, and then I've tidied the living room up. I need to put the uh, clothes area down though. And I've put all the washing away. I've done quite a lot. Uh, bathroom's done. I have to put the pram in the car yet. Um, and then this is all the stuff that's going. So I'm bringing two blankets with her. These are her favourite ones. And then in here is full of clothes and just I packed two toys so this rattle and her favourite one this one here and then all this is filled with clothes loads of like vests and sleep suits and everyone's probably thinking why have you packed so much but the reason is because being at home I have to change her about five times a day because she spits up so much and she does poo explosions <laughs> And, you know, it looks bad if you haven't packed enough stuff. So, there's plenty of clothes in there for her. Um, I'm taking her pillow because um, she likes sitting on that. She likes being upright. Um, they've got a play mat at theirs and a Moses basket. Um, and then, obviously, the car seat with the snow seat. So okay, so I just had to charge my phone up. Um, but I've added all the bottles now. Um, and I just catched up on Real Housewives of Orange County. Obsessed with that program. So Ellie's literally just left about five minutes ago, and I don't know. I just feel like really down already. I don't know what it is. Like I just feel incomplete without her, and she's literally just been five minutes, and it don't seem like. I don't know, I just don't seem right. Um, and I know like she's in good hands and Paul's mum and dad are amazing with her um, and she's going to have fun and everything. But I don't know, it's just... I think being a mother, like any other mother will know, it's so hard leaving your baby. And I don't know, it just it feels like I haven't even had a baby now. It feels like, um, you know, back in the day where I wasn't a mum and it's just, I don't know, it's very quiet as well. So, yeah, she's gone and I'll give them a text later. I always do. I'm always texting them to see if she's okay. Uh, there was so much stuff they had to bring, but it's all done now. And Paul said, you know, I deserve a break. And, like, being a mum is such hard work. Um, and I think it's good to make time for yourself or to make time with your partner as well. So, yeah, I don't know what our plans are tonight, even if we are staying in and... You know, having a takeaway, it's, you know, we're still spending time together. So, it's just gone 20 past four, and I just filmed a video. It's uh, me and Ellie's three-month update. I get Millie. So, um, that's just exporting now. Um, I don't know if that's going to be up tonight or tomorrow. Um, and I'm running a bath because I can finally have a bath and relax. Um... See, I'm just running the bath and for my birthday I've got this amazing like dove set so um, I thought I'd try it out this is the nourishing body wash and I've got this in already it's the uh, cream bath like bubble bath thing so yeah I'm just gonna relax 